Have you ever attended a seance or ever wanted to attend a seance? I've always had a lot of thoughts about them. I feel like there's so much that can be faked within seances and then reading about it over the years and little tricks and stuff that people would do and to pull the wool over the eyes of others. But I do find it interesting. I think it's a very interesting subject matter. I find the world of the beyond and what happens after we die to be extremely fascinating and interesting just to even think about or contemplate because you know, you won't know until you're on the other side. The book we're going to talk about today is The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. This book is about, obviously, seances and the society that is in London, and it takes place way back in the day, in like 1872, 1873. And so there is this very famous spiritualist known as Vaudeline Dealer. Still don't know if I'm saying that name right. Maybe that's how you say it. Vaudeline, Vaudeline. So she's very famous. She's a no frills, no tricks, no nothing. Straight up black coffee, shot no chaser medium. And she only does seances for people who have been murdered. Now, there's this London Seance Society. It's a gentleman only club, so it's all men who run this thing. And there's been some rumors flying around about how they, they might be like faking stuff and then doing weird things to the wives of the deceased. But then the main guy who runs it winds up dead. And that main guy and Vaudeline had been really good friends. They reach out to her and are like, hey, we want you to come here and do a seance so we can try to figure out what happened with this murder because we have no leads, we don't know what's going on, we need your help. And she had left town because she was originally in danger of being in London and she didn't want to be there. And her current understudy, who's with her, her name is Lena Wicks, she's a super skeptic. The only reason she decided that she wanted to learn the art of seance is because her sister Evie was murdered and she had been Vaudeline's prior pupil and was learning from her. Totally believed in all of it and all the stuff beyond the veil, but Lena did not. Lena was all more interested in looking at rocks and geology and, you know, seeing how stuff works and fossils and amber. And she's like, the spirit world foo-foo stuff is just not for me. But that kind of changes when her sister dies and she's like, if there's a chance, you know, that she can contact her beyond the, the veil or from the grave, she wants to at least try and especially to see if she can find out like who killed her sister and get the family some peace because they just don't know. So she is currently under the tutelage. Is that the word? <laughs> Tut tutelage of Vaudeline. It starts out and they're performing this seance in this like weird, creepy, old abandoned chateau with this family and they, they go through like the stages of what they need to do for the seance with the different invocations and incantations and if this happens and like some of the dangers of what can go on. They perform the seance. It's kind of weird. Some weird stuff happens and then Vaudeline ends up getting this letter from the London Seance Society about the man who had run it, Mr. Volkman, that he was murdered and she was also she was pretty close with him. She was very close with the family and his wife. And even though she was kind of in danger being in London, she decides because of, you know, her relationship with him and his family, like she wants to help. They're gonna go to London and try and solve this murder. But you have this society of these men and all these rumors flying around about the society. And I guess what was happening was Mr. Volkman was trying to get to the bottom of like what this shady crap going on was and they think that's why he was murdered so they think in this london seance society there's some shady characters that they need to weed out and like get them out of there that are up to like no good taking advantage of women and using tricks and faking stuff and not doing it legitimately and all of that and you have that and you have the danger that vaudeline is in it just it's kind of like a mystery is it a thriller maybe it's it's paranormal there's even sapphic romance in it it was a fun read I liked how they portrayed the seances and, and stuff such as that. The romance was nice. It was a nice added touch. It wasn't too much of the book because I'm not the biggest romance fan, but I liked how it was within the story. It, it fit well. I liked the mystery element of it. And as you slowly see what's happening behind the scenes and start figuring it out and like you have maybe some wrong impressions of certain characters because I was definitely led astray. I love when that happens because, you know, a lot of times stuff's 
it's very predictable, especially if you read a lot. When a book can like kind of surprise you like that, I always like that. And I thought it was a fun read. I like paranormal weird stuff, so obviously right in my wheelhouse. If you like kind of weird books that have like a mystery thriller type vibe with some sapphic romance, then The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner might just be for you. So if you like strange books about things that have to do with ghosts in the afterlife, next video coming up will be about that. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.